Hey everyone. I've been enjoying the beautiful sunny day today. It's gorgeous to have a little bit of a spring day out in the garden. I thought I'd come out and check out our little pack choys here. Now, we planted this uh, winter time, I suppose it was, yeah, late winter. And we also planted some kale. Now, if you watch the little, the little episode we did, we pumped a lot of black grit into here. So the topic today is black grit because it's been on everybody's mind and everybody's garden. Now, we use so much black grit in here that it's actually made the plants grow so fast and flower so quickly, which is something we love, but depends on the type of plant you're applying it. Now, in the case of leafy greens, can I just advise you, don't get too excited with black grit because it does work. Whether you call it El Nino or El Nina or El Nono or Nona, whatever you want to call that, that has effect on everybody's life and the environment, but so do fertilizers. And now black grit is a natural form phosphate, calcium, silicate, magnesium. So all those minerals that I've just mentioned to you make big roots, big strong cell walls in the plant, and that makes them flower and hold their flower as well, and even a leafy green plant. So you can use it on almost every type of plant except for your natives because of the natural forming phosphates. Now, when I did this garden bed here, along with the uh, kale over there, there's a couple of hundred plants here. Have a look at them beautiful no protection whatsoever from the environment because this is one of the harshest areas we have in our in our property open plains golden plains blowy vale we get it all here these have taken off a couple of little snail bites i'm not worried about that but it's the flower heads that are coming up so if you've used black grid on your leafy greens no doubt they would be bolting as well and it's not because the soil's rich, because I've done a pH test on this soil and it's very alkaline, rich of organic matter, rich of microbial activity, but because of the black grit, it does push on the flowers. You can only try it for yourself. And for those who've actually used it on other variety of plants, and I'll show you that in a minute, you're gonna love it. But on leafy greens, just ease off on it. Doesn't mean you don't use it, but just don't put as much, like mama did on my kale over there. I had to go and pinch out all the flowers now. Come over here and I'll show you what you can do with your flowers if they're bolting too quickly. See this? There's a flower head. We're just gonna cut it off down here, like that. Take it off. Now we left the, pl the plant behind there, which has no flower now. It's gonna push some energy back into the ground and then come up again. Now it'll bring on some more foliage like we did here. See this one here on the side there? Now that's gonna try and push another flower up. See that? But you'll still get a couple of leaves out of the plant and it'll stop it going to seed or flower too early which means you can still harvest it because the longer you leave the flowers on the harder and the woodier the plant will become and that's with all types of plants uh, i'll find this happening on my pak choy on my kale and it's not the season because i've planted areas of kale where it's not flowering because i, I didn't apply any black grit it's just been the natural soil there but if you are going to use black grit ease off on the leafy greens but don't be shy to apply it on your tomatoes folks because all it's gonna do is give them lots of flowers. Now, the benefit of black grit on lots of plants like tomatoes, capsicums, cucumbers, eggplants, especially tomatoes, it actually prevents blossom end rot. Now, if you've ever experienced that in the past, where your tomatoes develop a brown spot or a patch around the base of the tomato, that's like having high blood pressure. Too much nitrogen in the soil, so the fruit starts to rot. They call it blossom end rot. Black grit will stop that. And not only will it stop it, it'll actually make you have bigger tomatoes, lots more tomatoes, and lots of everything else. So use it on your flowering, fruiting vegetables, and less on your leafy greens, and lots on your fruit trees and citrus trees as well. You can find black grit on our website, vasiliesgarden.com, or you can follow the link in the description above that'll take you to a previous video we did that goes into more detail on what is black grit and how you can use it in and around your garden. From me, Vasily, Marisi.